does it mean to forgive? Forgiveness means you're aware of what your offender did, but you choose to forgive them still. Forgiveness means you don't keep a record of the wrong. You erase it. You erase it from your mental and your emotional hard drive. You don't keep bringing it up and pointing the finger of blame. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, known as the love chapter of the Bible, says in verse 5, Love keeps no record of wrongs. Forgiveness means you set aside feelings of revenge or getting even. Forgiveness means you refuse to punish your offender. Forgiveness means you leave vengeance to God, for He says, I will repay. Forgiveness means refraining from going around and talking about what was done to you. You know, when you talk about what was done to you, it only makes the other person look bad. You may be looking for sympathy, you may be looking for a shoulder to cry on, but it only allows the offense to take a deeper root in you. It only makes you more bitter, more angry, more resentful. I know what your offender did was wrong, but if you keep bringing it up to others, it doesn't accomplish anything except to make those other people feel bad towards the offender. You know, it's a form of punishment and something you should leave to the Lord. He'll handle it, I promise you. Forgiveness is being merciful. It means having grace. Mercy means not receiving what we deserve. What we deserve is judgment. Grace means receiving what we don't deserve. That's God's favor, His forgiveness. Proverbs 11:17 says, The merciful man does good to his own soul. Forgiveness is the absence of bitterness. You know, one good way to tell if you've really let go of bitterness is when you no longer have a desire to get even. You no longer have a desire to set the record straight or punish that other person. Forgiveness sometimes means learning to forgive yourself. I've spoken with so many people who have said to me, David, you don't know what I've done. What I've done is so bad, God will never forgive me. My friend, that is a lie from Satan. Nothing you have done or can ever do is beyond the mercy and the grace and the complete forgiveness of God. He loves you. He died for you in order to reconcile you back to God, to bring you back into right relationship with Him. The Bible says in 1 John 1, 9 that if we confess our sins, if you confess your sins to Him, He is faithful, He is just to forgive you your sins. All you need to do is simply ask Him. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. Repent. It's an interesting word. It means to change the direction you are going. Turn around. Go another way. You know, as Jesus spoke to the woman caught in, in, in adultery, He said to her, Go and sin no more. Forgiveness is praying for your offender to be blessed. Wow, tough thing to do. Jesus said, Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. I know it's hard to do, but when you do this, you're going to find real freedom. You're going to find real inner peace. God bless you today.